Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 251. Fetal Erythropoiesis. What is erythropoiesis? Erythropoiesis is the production of the red blood cells. Where does erythropoiesis occur in a fetus that's 3 to 10 weeks old? In a fetus that's 3 to 10 weeks old, the erythropoiesis occurs at the yolk sac. Where does erythropoiesis occur in a fetus that's 6 weeks old till the time of birth? Fetus that is 6 weeks old till the time of birth, the erythropoiesis occurs in the liver. Where does erythropoiesis occur in a fetus that's 15 to 30 weeks old? In a fetus that's 15 to 30 weeks old, the erythropoiesis occurs in the spleen. Where does erythropoiesis occur in a 22-week-old fetus as well as in adults? Erythropoiesis for a 22-week fetus as well as in adults happen in the bone marrow. What is the mnemonics to help you remember fetal erythropoiesis? The mnemonics to help you remember fetal erythropoiesis is young liver synthesized blood. That's Y for yolk sac, L for liver, S for spleen, and B for bone marrow. What are the subunits of fetal hemoglobin? The subunits of fetal hemoglobin is 2 alpha and 2 gamma. What are the subunits of adult hemoglobin? The subunit of adult hemoglobin is 2 alpha and 2 beta. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.